one. Teacher Gina Futch at Newton High School in Covington, Georgia, says her students are special. It's the same thing, isn't it? Congressional election or what? But look closely. There's something different about her, too. You wear this around your neck. Tell me about this. Well, this is a teardrop microphone, um, and basically it amplifies everything that I say. The mic is designed by Jeff Anderson's company. The audio enhancement story started with my mother uh, trying to devise a system for my brothers to hear better in schools because they were hearing impaired. His family has been in the educational audio business for about 30 years, but what started as a simple microphone has now developed into the SAFE system. Well, principals, superintendents, and school board members came to us years ago and said, please implement a safety alert button in your microphones because it's the only thing that teachers currently are wearing to where they could alert the office. If Ms. Fudge were to need assistance or feel threatened, she'd press this button, and immediately that camera would snap a photo, which would be emailed to administrators and school resource officers, and then this would happen in the main office. Attention administrators, I have a silent alarm in room number 44. The administrators and officers would come to this room and the entire time the camera is transmitting a live signal and recording video possibly for an investigation later. There's like 1,500 classrooms now across the country that have that. Director of the SAFE system Gregory Thomas says his phone has been ringing nonstop since the Sandy Hook shooting with superintendents looking for an extra layer of security. What would this have meant to the teachers and the students at Sandy Hook? Uh, I would say it's too early to tell. I, I think at this point right now, obviously, the, the gunman made his way into the building at the, at the front door, and we have the ability also in this system to put a panic button at the front door that does the exact same thing that the button does that the teacher presses in the classroom. Newton High is 20 weeks into a partial pilot program, but Principal Craig Lockhart plans to fully implement the system in every classroom next year. Safety is important for our students. It is our number one priority, and we must make sure that we have the latest advances in technology for our children. The enemies that we have are always prepared. We have to be even more prepared so that we can properly address situations and take care of our children. At an average cost of $1,500 to $2,000 per classroom, it could be a burden for some struggling school districts, but Butch believes it's worth the investment. This is something that, that helps me and gives me more confidence. It helps me to protect my kids because I know I can get help very quickly. Victor Blackwell, CNN, Covington, Georgia.